everybody, welcome back to Sidebar with Stephanie. Today I want to talk about three things that have been in the news that are incredibly related. The Olympics, women's soccer, and equal pay. So Tuesday, April 12th was equal pay day. So what that means is that for the average woman, you have to wait until Tuesday, April 12th to make as much money as your male counterparts made the year before. But that's only true if you're a white woman. If you're an African American woman, you have to wait until August 23rd. If you are a Native American woman, you're waiting until September. And if you're a Latina woman, you're waiting until November. And if you're a member of the U.S. Women's National Soccer Team, you're waiting even longer than that. Now, the U.S. Women's National Soccer Team are good at what they do. They have a bid to the Olympics this year, and if they go and win, it'll be their fourth straight gold medal. Four straight gold medals. The men's soccer team aren't even going to the Olympics this year. And yet, the men's soccer team are paid in the 6,000s just for showing up to a game, win, lose, or draw, and almost 18,000 if they win per game. And the women's national soccer team are paid between 3,500 and almost 5,000 only if they win. What? What does that even mean? Like, I can't even comprehend that. And so the fact that these women are thinking about not going to the pinnacle of what their careers could be, the Olympics, it just, it just shows how critical this issue is. And I don't blame them. This is their livelihood we're talking about. These are women who have made soccer their career. And it's just not fair. I recently watched this YouTube video where kids were asked to do chores. And then they paid the little boy and the little girl a different amount at the end. Watch this. Why does he get $5? That's just the way it is. It should be flat out illegal. Like, I'm not joking. I'm not being unreasonable. If you do the same work, you should get paid the same money. Ugh. Ugh, I have no words. It's so wrong. That is heartbreaking. If that doesn't drive the point home for you, I don't know what will. If there's anyone out there who thinks there's a good reason for men and women to be paid different amounts, I would love to hear your justification. I just can't imagine there's ever a scenario that exists. I just saw this statistic on CNN that people with advanced degrees, the disparity is also even bigger. It's 74% of what men are paid for women with advanced degrees. And I'm getting ready to graduate with my master's degree in three weeks. I already have a law degree. I already have a bachelor's degree. Listen, if you think you're going to pay me 74% of what you pay a man, I'm only doing 74% of the work. You get what you pay for. That's all there is to it. I'd love to hear what you think about it. Let me know in the comments below. This is Stephanie Haney.